Danger on the roads. New Jersey is number one in the country when it comes to pedestrian deaths. That's according to a new report. Experts say that there are a number of reasons why. Cleve Bryan is live in Washington Township with more for us. Cleve. As I looked into that ranking, why so many people are being killed crossing the street and what all of us can do to make it a little safer. It's nighttime, the roadway's dark. It was back to back tragedies in September when two pedestrians were struck and killed in separate incidents on Route 42 in Washington Township in just one week. Both um, were nighttime crashes where pedestrians were trying to cross the Highway 42 and were struck by vehicles. While total traffic fatalities are down nationwide over the last decade, pedestrian fatalities are up 35%. And according to a new report, the worst states for pedestrian fatalities are New Jersey, New York, and Delaware. In New Jersey, there were 175 pedestrians killed last year, and the number one cause is crossing roads where it's prohibited. We spoke to an expert to see why he thinks pedestrian deaths are happening more often. I would say that's closely attributed to cell phone use. A lot of people are focusing more on paying attention to and worrying about that text message or communicating through social media and not paying attention to utilizing the crosswalks and paying attention to their safety. Experts say distracted driving is also to blame for pedestrian deaths. They say the way to reverse the trend is for towns to add more crosswalk signs, increase lighting and remind drivers it's state law to stop for pedestrians at crosswalks. Towns with lots of businesses and motels on major highways like Route 42 may also want to look at adding fencing to the median that would prevent jaywalking. Washington Township plans to do just that with the new $19 million construction project that will begin soon. Prevent people from trying to cross um, in the middle of the roadway and it would force them down to the uh, crosswalk at the intersections. And officials tell me that construction on Route 42, including the pedestrian barrier, is expected to begin by the end of the year. In Washington Township, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Cleve, thank you.